This is how I got a robot to write out the entire movie Shrek. So I just started off by just watching the whole movie and writing down everything that they said. And then I laid out a big piece of paper on a CNC machine, which is like a, meant for cutting wood and making cabinets and stuff. And I was like, oh, maybe I can just shove a pen where the like cutting bit goes, but it ended up kind of looking like alien hieroglyphics. So I was like, okay, I need to come up with something new. So 3D printed out this pen holder and got these linear bearings that would make it slide back and forth and shoved the pen up there with a rubber band, which was able to make it kind of go up and down and it wouldn't get caught on the paper anymore. So where the pen moved was controlled by a program, not a human. So I didn't have to write like a human. It just sort of optimized the path and just wrote in whatever freestyle order it wanted. At the end of day one, it was like 1.30. I had worked the next day, so I was like, okay, I need to come back. Came back the next day and resumed the program and the, that was day two, then this is day three. On day three, I did realize that there were these like sort of bubbles in the paper or like high spots that made it so the pen would sort of drag. And so I put down a bunch of pens to sort of weight the paper. Um, along with the, uh, the high spots, there was also some low spots. Um, but I'm actually kind of into them. It's like what Bob Ross said. It's like, there's no mistakes, only happy accidents. Uh, so obviously the pen <laughs> ran out of ink and instead of just buying a new pen like I probably should have. I was like, I'll fill it with indie ink myself. And that was like a whole hour long detour, but then it was working. And so I started on building the frame. This is a joiner planer combo and it, it basically just makes wood nice and square and flat and pretty. So then I cut them to length on the table saw and basically made a big frame. So I glued and nailed the frame together and then I made this inner piece that would stiffen up the inner frame. Then I moved over the whole piece of paper onto the inner frame and stapled that down. Then I made an outer frame as well, which I then painted white. Then I put the outer frame and smashed in the inner frame. This is one of those like little gallery plaque things. It says the artist's name and the name of the thing and all that stuff. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, that was out of aluminum. So I hung that up in the art studio as well. And that's the whole thing. I hope you liked it.